Merry Christmas indeed. That is the question on everyone's lips. Welcome back. Great to have your company this morning. What is Christmas going to be like this year? Let's talk more about Sydney's COVID emergency. New South Wales Police Minister David Elliott joins me now. Minister, good to see you this morning. It is the question everyone wants to know. What's going to happen at Christmas? Is the Premier going to ease restrictions in just a few hours' time? Well, of course, outside the northern beaches, uh, you can have up to 10 people in your home. So um, that shouldn't really disrupt many families. But we're hoping this morning the, uh, uh, the figures will give some sort of ability for the Premier to ease restrictions. That's not guaranteed. Uh, I must admit that the people of the northern beaches have been more than compliant with 44,000 uh, tests in, in a 24-hour period. Uh, I'm delighted to report that there have been no infringement notices issued in the last 24 hours. So that compliance um, is, uh, is being... Um, well and truly adhered to, but we've all got to also just got to keep our fingers crossed that the number of people that have been um, have been have acquired the uh, the virus have kept at an absolute minimum as well, because that does give uh, the premier the flexibility to ease some of those restrictions. Yeah, they've really come out in force. The uh, residents of the northern beaches, it's been extraordinary. But there was one resident who travelled to the state's south coast. How much of a threat have they caused? Well, at this stage, it doesn't appear to have been any a threat, but of course, it's the risk. We're all about mitigating the risk. That's why these restrictions have been introduced. I know some of them um, might seem a little bit odd to people, but they have to appreciate that there is no rule book to dealing with this pandemic. It's been 100 years since we've had this sort of um, pandemic uh, across the world. Uh, and so, therefore, we've got to make sure that we just use every opportunity to re reduce the risk. And that 77-year-old man on the South Coast took a risk. Uh, and that's why uh, on, uh, on the weekend he, uh, he's, his actions have led to an infringement notice, uh, but uh, nothing in the last 24 hours. Let's look forward to, you know, Christmas is, we don't know yet, we'll find out at 11 o'clock, but looking forward now to New Year's Eve is a question that people are starting to ask. What's going to happen on that night? Is the Premier looking to that now? What, I mean, we're looking at a restricted New Year's Eve anyway as it is, but Clovermore came out yesterday and said that she doesn't think it should go on. What are your thoughts? Well, I think that we've got to take it day by day. And what we have done extremely well, in fact, it's considered world's best practice, is our tracing in New South Wales. We've been able to trace people. So in the event that there is, um, is an outbreak in any individual location, we can ensure people go into isolation and get tested. And, and I think as long as the figures are low, as long as we've um, been able to minimise this cluster on the northern beaches, that may affect people from the northern beaches. But the rest of the state at the moment um, can consider itself um, uh, uh, it's, it, it's all but business as usual, um, but we'll know that this morning when we see the final figures in the last 24 hours and, and confirmation as if, uh, if, if that uh, isolation on the northern beaches has worked. We know that the outbreak from the northern beaches has come from these two events where there's been bands playing, restrictions got eased, people went out. There was COVID fatigue. That was sort of what was going on with everybody around the world is feeling the same thing. We just want to go back to whatever normal is going to be. Looking back on it now, did we let that happened too soon? Should we have stayed firm all the way to the end of the year? Well, I, I don't think so, because as the Premier had said time and time again, um, this is the new norm, and certainly until we get the vaccine that uh, we're all waiting patiently for. Uh, and we had done so well in this, uh, in this state, but she also predicted that there would always be um, second waves, third waves. This wasn't something that was uh, uh, guaranteed would, we, we would avoid, despite the fact that we had introduced all those restrictions. And, and, and of course, the people of New South Wales had done so well. We have done so well. Mm. The contact tracing, the amount of testing that's going on and, and the fact that we've seen such high level of compliance on the northern beaches says that we've responded appropriately as well. But I mean, I, I'm very, very conscious of the fact that for the mental health of our society, I, I, we had to reduce these restrictions if and when it was appropriate. Well, let's hope that we get some good results today at 11am. Uh, David, so great to have your company this morning. Hope you have a safe Christmas. Belinda?